Hi you guys, I'm back to do another review for another product. I haven't been doing a lot of reviews because I haven't been buying a lot of products. I've been using up a lot of things. But I wanted to come and do a quick review for the Dew Growth Mega Thick uh, Growth Oil. The reason why, I don't know why it took me so long to try this one, is probably because there's another one. It's a stimulating one and it has mineral oil in it. I'm not a fan of mineral oil. I know there's a lot of naturals who love mineral oil. I'm just not a fan of mineral oil because of the texture of my hair and it's just too thick and it coats my hair too much. So all of you who like mineral oil, I'm not bashing it. I'm just saying it's just not for me. This is supposed to be like you can use as a hot treatment or you also oil your scalp with it. It's supposed to strengthen weak damaged hair and promote the growth for you know long strong hair. And tame frizzies and add shine. As far as the frizziness goes, I cannot account that it's frizz free. It's too heavy to tame. It actually is just too heavy to tame frizz. It causes a little bit more frizz for me, just a little bit because I have 3C hair. It does help with my scalp. I have really bad dry dandruff and it helps moisturize my scalp. It keeps my scalp good. Uh, it has a, not a terrible smell. I'm sensitive to smell. Certain things I can't even purchase because of the smell. Not just like hair products, but makeup products. If it smells terrible and it gives me a headache, I cannot buy it. So that's another plus. It has a lot of enriching ingredients such, such as um, soybean oil, sh what sweet almond oil. It does have protein in it. Shea butter extract. It's fragrance. It has tea tree, vitamin A, E, um, a whole bunch of other things, soap bark extract, cherry bark extract, it has henna extract at the end, along with horsetail plant extract and safflower seed. Now, a lot of people don't know that um, horsetail is you can, it's actually a growth agent that does help promote healthy growth with, within the hair shaft and the scalp, so I do know those help with hair growth. As far as everything else is normal, I like the fact that it does have tea tree, which does help with anti-dandruff and anti-flame with the scalp. Um, I can't really say anything negative about this. The only bad thing about this product is the bottle is too small. I run this bottle down within like a, two weeks. It's only like a 4 ounce, 4.5 ounce. I wish Dew Growth would make a big bottle so I can stop going and buying this every two weeks. This that that's the only negative. The only other thing I would say if you're really really protein sensitive, which in this case, <clears throat> when I tried it, my hair was pretty much fine. My hair was okay with everything. I didn't have like a whole bunch of issues with protein overload. It didn't really dry my hair out. I still needed to co-wash with my everyday. <clears throat> Why my throat so dry? My everyday normal protein product or protein conditioner, I mean, which was the coconut. This is what I use, nourishing. So, if anybody wants to know what I co wash with, because I'm out of my Italian red grapes. If any of y'all don't know, that is my staple. I just can't find it. Um, so, if you are extremely protein sensitive or you're experiencing a protein overload, do not go out and buy this product until your hair. Is somewhat, you know, back in balance with the moisture protein. Um, that's about it. That's there's nothing really bad else I can say about. It. Only thing bad is the size of it. That's it, you guys. I recommend this to everybody to use this natural relax. And I like the fact that it has a tip that um, you can just take the cap off of and put the cap back on so it doesn't get all over the place.